Hey there everyone, Bon here again, and I just picked up what's called the SD to SNES. And it goes pretty well with this Super Nintendo because this Super Nintendo is one of the early release ones that actually does support component video out. Uh, there's a chip on the early releases that allows you to have, you know, component cables right there. And I have the analog there as well, so you get your component video and stereo audio out. And it works pretty well, as you can see on this TV. It looks great in 240p. Um, startup Mega Man X. So what's wonderful about the SD to NES, SNES, excuse me, um, is that it has the ability to run games off a chip called the MSU. And the MSU is pretty spectacular because it allows you to have like a range soundtracks and whatnot. So right now we're trying Mega Man X. And as you can hear, that sounds a lot better than uh, stock SNES. Let me turn that down a little bit. Let me turn it up a little bit. There you go. And uh, well, it's, it allows you to have game ROMs as big as like four gigabyte. Yeah, basically these PCM files are loaded along in an XML file that tells it where to play inside this ROM. And it's basically playing this playlist as you're playing the game. And it sounds pretty good. And not only can you do uh, enhanced audio, you can do enhanced video as well. So my friend is now playing one of his favorite games of all time, which is Mega Man X. And um, playing with the component out and this MSU1 chip. It looks very nice. Uh, how does it play? Great so far. How's that music? Rocking. Yep. I mean, I don't want to blast it too late. It's about 10.45 at night, uh, so I don't want to go too loud. But, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of rolling scanning on the component, but that's just the way the video is. Um, I do not... We don't see that on the actual, you know, while we're playing the game. We don't see that line going down. It's just the way cameras are with the 60 hertz. But um, this sounds incredible. I mean, it's expensive, though. Uh, I just got this from Stone Age Gamer for about 200 bucks but the nice thing about it is it has a lot more compatibility uh, a lot better compatibility say uh, super everdrive and it does have the ability for this msu one there's actually uh releases of games that are out there and you can get them um i you know i'm not gonna tell you how to get them but if you know how to find roms you know how to get these packs and uh well worth it this sounds very nice this sounds better than <laughs> A lot of the games that I play today, uh, so it's people out there just saying, hey, you know what, use my music, and someone will say, sure, I'll just pop it in an XML file, and, you know, it's not too bad. About an hour's worth of work, and you can have these games loaded up in your games. It's This music loaded up in your games, and it sounds awesome. It's CD quality audio right here. Definitely sounds awesome, and with that component video, um, you got a Super Nintendo that can pretty much play on any TV these days. Uh, it's nice to know that SNES, even though it was a 1990 uh, console, had support for component video on certain consoles. You need a special chip called, uh, I think it's the S-ENC chip. And um, when I opened up my Super Nintendo about a few years ago, I was fortunate enough to have one of those chips. So anyway, guys, I mean, this looks awesome. Uh, you might want to open up your Super Nintendo and see if you have that component. And uh, the SD... Uh, to SNES is available out there. Um, I got it pretty fast. I'm out here in Oregon, and that cartridge came within like two, three days. So they do ship very, very quickly here in the United States. And my friend is having some fun with Vile right now. But um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. I will be, um, I've been doing a lot of retro stuff lately. So it looks like I'll be moving on to something else tomorrow. Thank you.